it's a large spectrum. For example, it involves a lot of life sciences. You all know that humans in space and zero gravity, that it has a lot of changes. Um, the muscles uh, and the bones like they dissolve and get weaker, and that is much, much faster than on planet Earth. So actually, like the loss of uh, um, bone mass happens up to 30 times faster than on the ground. And so astronauts are kind of guinea pigs, and we can study in a very controlled environment um, in a very fast way, uh, very fast progress, like how to fight such diseases. Then uh, we have uh, experiments that are also related to a reduction of CO2. We have concrete hardening, a very interesting experiment that looks into a uh, seemingly very old material, concrete, uh, which we have every everywhere around us but not in space usually and um, but during the production of concrete we produce a lot of co2 and so if we can improve this process by a better understanding of the process we can actually cut down also the co2 emissions and that will be very significant one of the drivers and the beauty of space is that it instigates and instills in society a deep understanding because of its aspirational nature, a deep understanding on the benefits of science and technology for society at large and also for the economy. And through that, you're able to tap into the development and the adoption of technology across existing industries, uh, ensuring sustainability also across existing industries, and you're able to catapult that forward. So the number of 80% of the science team being women, 34% of the overall Emirates Mars mission team being women, it's not really surprising. It was a natural reflection of where we were um, as a space program. And it was uh, really interesting to understand that that wasn't the norm as we went into the program and became more and more connected with the global science community. Um, and for me, the agenda of women in STEM is very important from a global perspective and diversity in STEM is very important from a global perspective because that's how you ensure that you have um, innovation across the board and developments happening without bias across the board. The International Space Station is really inspiring. I mean, we launched uh, this project 21 years ago and people have been living here ever since. Um, people from a lot of different nations, different languages, different cultures, and it works. We all work together, we are one team, and, and I wish we could extend this cooperation, this success um, on to many more projects and also especially to the very important projects like fighting climate change.